So what's latest happening in uh, semiconductors uh, sector in the country? In country means I mean India. Yeah. So uh, in the last uh, couple of years, we have seen that uh, uh, semicon has become the buzzword in the industry. We are getting uh, you know a lot of uh, opportunities uh, in the semicon. Uh, sector, uh, we have. Um, if we talk about the, uh, uh, you know, the industry, uh, we are getting the fab units as well as the uh, uh, the the uh, OSAT, which is the testing and fabrication uh, as well. So uh, already we see a lot of investments and large companies like uh, Micron, Tata, and others have already in invested uh, in this. So. Uh, I, I believe this is the future for India uh, in, in the coming time. So how how this ISM 1.0 and 2.0 is faring? Pardon? Uh, this Indian Semiconductor Mission 1.0 yeah. and 2.0. How is it faring in the country? So uh, as I said, you know, it's 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 on the rise, and uh, uh, you know, uh, people are accepting it, and uh, industries are gearing up to to meet those uh, standards and. Uh, uh, we see a lot of uh, momentum uh, in, in these uh, in this sector. All right, great. And sir, uh, what's the mission of Delta Electronics in India? I Means how are they progressing in their uh, vision? Okay, if I talk about the industrial automation uh, division, uh, we are very much geared up uh, to to cater to the uh, not only to the semicon segment but uh, also the electronic manufacturing segment as well as automotive. Uh, and other uh, segments like machine tools, plastics, and all. So, uh, if if I talk about Delta Industrial Automation, uh, we have uh, you know components. Uh, what I call as uh, uh, we have the entire basket. So uh, we are able to cater to uh, you know the shop floor requirements. Uh, then we have the uh, you know the uh, intermediaries uh, which carry the data uh, for the uh, you know for the data which is carried from the machines uh, to for, to the softwares and then uh, we do we can do the data analytics and uh, you know uh, do a, a, a you know machine learning as well as uh, ai so so we have uh, the uh, products and solutions uh, which i call from uh, shop floor to the top floor so uh, right from uh, you know uh, the management sitting at uh, their offices can see what is happening uh, in the shop floors and how they are, uh, you know, improving their uh, uh, efficiencies. Okay, right. So, uh, data electronics has established a very uh, strong global presence in power, uh, energy, and automation solutions. So, what are the company's key strategic priorities for the coming years? So, uh, uh, you rightly said, you know, EV and uh, you know, uh, EV is is uh, the the right direction where the company is moving. So, we have. Uh, both the onboard chargers as well as when I say onboard chargers, it is uh, uh, within the vehicle and then the offboard chargers, which is basically uh, required for the uh, vehicle charging. So uh, we we have, again, uh, both the technologies available with us and we are uh, implementing it. Uh, we have already implemented it globally, but we are now implementing it in India as well. Uh, coming to industrial automation, uh, yes, um, you know, in the last three years or four years, we have seen uh, the shift from just the product business to developing solutions for the various sectors. So uh, be it, uh, you know, the, the battery manufacturing, uh, which is uh, used for the vehicles, uh, we have our solutions for that and um, also other solutions in, in these uh, verticals. All right. So India is emerging as a major manufacturing and technology hub. And how important is India in Delta Electronics long-term investment and growth strategy? So uh, India definitely is uh, one of a very important uh, you know, market for uh, Delta. And uh, we have done a lot of investments uh, in uh, Krishnagiri, which is in uh, Tamil Nadu. We have acquired uh, 125 acres land where we are setting up our, we have already set up uh, four factories. Uh, both for SEZ, uh, which is for the exports, and also for the domestic market. So uh, seeing the growth in India, uh, we have rightly positioned ourselves, uh, already started manufacturing various products in these uh, factories, and uh, moving forward, we will expand these uh, factories as well. How many factories do, uh, do you have as of now? 
so uh, we have one factory area in krishnagiri uh, the other is in rudrapur and uh, uh, solution uh, the industrial automation solution uh, shop floor in gurgaon so at present we have three uh, we are very strong in r&d so we have uh, in bangalore uh, we have um, a large office uh, to cater to almost uh, 2000 r&d engineers and we have a megawatt lab as well as the low power lab Uh, where uh, our engineers are working, uh, you know, uh, for uh, newer innovations. So, sir, in couple of years, how much expansion this factory can we expect? Uh, in in the next uh, five years, we should double up our uh, production capacities. Okay. Okay. Yeah. so so all depends upon how the market is moving and which way the market is moving so so we have these flexible automation so you know we can see uh, where and what uh, you, know, you know we we really need to produce all right not only for india but globally okay uh so delta's parent company in taiwan operates within a mature semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem So, how does this relationship strengthen Delta's capabilities in power electronics and advanced technologies? So, uh, yes, Delta is very strong in uh, Taiwan. Uh, we are one of the leading uh, electronic uh, manufacturing company, a power electronic uh, manufacturing company, and uh, we leverage the technologies uh, in India as well. Uh, so be it uh, the semicon industry or the ems uh, you know we uh, do take the help and also uh, we also build our own system because you know uh, the the geographies are different so we have to you know take care of the indian market and the um, the, the way uh, the supply chain is present in india so so we uh, we you know normally uh, take their um, feedback and then also uh, and await our ways of uh, working okay so with semiconductors becoming critical for evs data centers and smart energy systems how is delta securing uh, access to advanced and reliable chip technologies so we are not into chip manufacturing right so we are basically giving the solutions for the chip manufacturing so the chip manufacturing is done by uh, other companies where we are supporting them with the latest technologies okay sir uh, so uh, can we say the delta electronics supporting india's mission uh, for semiconductor Abs- absolutely absolutely okay fine and so india uh, yeah yeah go ahead please no no it's a you you say i will ask like, i was i was just talking about uh, you know this uh, uh, the the semicon which happened in september this uh, last year september 2025 when uh, prime minister modi visited our stall and uh, uh you know he was happy to see the way we were going our products and solutions which go into the uh, you know the semiconductor uh, manufacturing okay so how can delta's expertise in energy efficiency and automation support the power and infrastructure needs of semiconductor fabs and delta centers plant in india so uh, delta uh, as you know uh, we we are a company which believes in uh, you know giving more energy efficient products uh, to the market uh, which means uh, when we talk about energy efficiency uh, it it is basically uh, giving uh, uh, you know better efficiencies uh, reducing the carbon emissions reducing the uh, you know the uh, the the ecosystem which is uh, conducive to uh, to the manufacturing and uh, also uh uh we uh work together with our vendors with our uh, with our customers so that uh, we can give them a better and uh, uh you know technology which uh, is uh, useful for them right sir so sustainability is a core pillar of delta strategy so how do you balance rapid business growth with long term climate and esg commitments so delta is committed to long term esg uh, goals and uh, we have signed those agreements as well so uh, renewables is one area where we are focusing much and as i said that uh, you know the 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 brand statement of delta being smarter greener together uh, you know goes a long way with this and uh, we we have our uh, you know goals uh, to to take care of these uh, these uh, uh, esg initiatives 
All right. So what role does innovation R&D play in keeping Delta competitive in clean energy, power, electronics, and smart manufacturing? So uh, as I said, Delta is a very strong uh, R&D company and uh, we are uh, ahead of the market in terms of, uh, you know, giving the solutions to, uh, to the market. So, uh, you know, be it the form factor of any uh, equipment or uh, be it the efficiency or be it the uh, uniqueness in technologies, Delta stands uh, ahead uh, compared to the competition. And therefore, we are one of the leaders in, in most of the areas where we work. Okay, sir. As electric uh, mobility and renewable energy adoption accelerates in India, where do you see the biggest opportunities for Delta solutions? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Okay, sir. Right. Uh, as electric mobility and renewable yeah. energy adoption accelerates in India, so where do you yeah. see the biggest opportunities for Delta solutions? So, uh, as you rightly said, uh, in the uh, electric uh, vehicle segment, uh, we are very strong. As I said, we, we have both uh, the onboard and the offboard equipments. Uh, we are very strong in, in uh, the power electronics, the, the systems uh, within uh, the, the components. And um, also, uh, you know, this is uh, one, uh, you know, direction which the government also has in terms of renewable energy as well as e-mobility. So we are uh, uh, walking hand in hand uh, with the policies of the government and, and uh, supporting uh, the cause. All right. Sir, uh, what message would you like to share with policymakers, investors, and customers about Delta Electronics long-term vision for India and its role in the global technology ecosystem? So, uh, as, as in Delta industrial automation, uh, I feel that, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot to, uh, you know, go in, in the future. So, uh, the vision is very clear that we need to uh, grow and uh, give uh, uh, the really efficient uh, solutions uh, to the market. And uh, to derive that, uh, we have infinite uh, possibilities, uh, you know, to co-work with our customers and the suppliers. So as uh, India grows and we see, the, you know, uh, the way it is growing in the last uh, 10 years, I think there's a huge uh, possibility of Delta to grow along with the India market. All right, sir. Coming back to the India's semiconductor mission, I just want to, to be uh, to uh, you know get a, a detailed answer if possible. If you can elaborate, how can Delta contribute to the initiatives like uh, semiconductor mission in India? Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, as I said, you know, uh, Delta has a lot of products and solutions which go into the semiconductor industry. So, if I talk about the uh, facility management uh, and the energy conservation, we have our uh, products and solutions for that, uh, including the softwares. So that is one. We also have, uh, you know, the entire robotic solutions uh, for manufacturing of the uh, semiconductor chips as well as, uh, you know, testing them. Uh, uh, we have the entire range of software, which is not only for the manufacturing, but also for the energy management system, for the warehousing, because uh, semiconductor requires a different type of a warehousing as well. So we have uh, those softwares and the capabilities to implement them uh, as we move, move forward. Okay. So, so we, yeah, so we are very much into this and, uh, you know, uh, most of the uh, investors or most of the companies which are coming in India, uh, we have, uh, you know, already connected with them and uh, in a way moving forward with them. Okay. So what's the long-term plan of uh, Delta Electronics Taiwan? If, you, if I want to about, uh, talk about the parent company. Okay. So, of course, uh, any company would uh, definitely like to grow and uh, grow and, uh, you know, uh, give its investors uh, the, the, you know, the return what uh, they seek for. And uh, moving forward, I, uh, you know, uh, our focus would be on uh, data center business, on uh, um, e-mobility and also uh, industrial automation and building automation. So those would be the four or five pillars on which uh, Delta would work and, you know. All right. All right. As a last question, uh, the uh, union budget in India is around the corner. It's, will, it's going to happen in the next month, uh, first week, maybe first of Feb. So yes. what's your expectations uh, towards the Indian government in the upcoming union budget? 
so so i'm very positive about the the budget and i feel that uh, we will be getting a lot of uh, you know scope uh, when it comes to the industry uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, new factories msmes and others would would uh, spring up and also skill india would also get uh, more uh, focus and uh, with this uh, you know uh, india has uh, does not have a dearth of uh, you know talent so along with the the talent of uh, india and the 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 budget what uh, i'm sure is going to be very uh, conducive to the industry we will uh, go along very well uh, in in the future